Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part five of the uh, third developer Let's Play. And we are rolling, so I'm just going to keep going. And show off some more of the game. Okay, so that, that apiary we talked about, it's degraded. Uh, like I said, it doesn't uh, run out immediately, uh, so it'll keep going. Unfortunately, <laughs> our, uh, our beekeeper isn't uh, doing quite as much for us now. So normally this apiary would be producing eight honey, but because it's degraded once, it's dropped to four. It degrades again, it'll drop to two. So uh, we got on the ball a little bit late there. Uh, something maybe if I uh, play this one out again, uh, hopefully have a, a, uh, a better strategy for that. Uh, but we are making enough honey to keep everyone fed still. Uh, and we are making you know, a little bit of a surplus here. Uh, not much, but we have a lot of honey built up, so not too terrible. Okay, so it's like Alram avoided uh, bandit death. Uh, so we will just kind of sneak back this way. As long as you remain uh, at a little bit of a distance from the bandits, you're, you're pretty safe. Uh, ideally, you can put some forests between you and them because forests would take up... Uh, everybody's movement so it's um, except for the scout the scout and the surveyor so they can kind of duck through and uh, jump out of the way of danger um, sometimes you jump out of the way of danger and into somebody else that has happened to me okay so we have our surveyor heading up this way right there next to that camp um hmm, that seems a little bit too dangerous okay so Einar has shown up, and Einar will probably be our farmer for that barley. Because nobody else really makes a lot of sense. So it's going to take four turns, but that's probably, you know, that's not the end of the world. We can make it work. Uh, so we're going to have a couple more uh, people here that are going to be used for other things here in a bit. Uh, looks like Almond proceeded on his auto path uh, because I forgot to pay attention to them. Um, so, yeah, well, let's see if we can sneak it in there. Uh, they can't get to us in one turn because of these hills in the way. So, two moves to move there, one move. Uh, so, as long as we keep an eye on them, maybe I'll keep the scout over here uh, keeping watch to make sure that nothing too terrible is on its way. Well, I guess I can see already, so... Alright, Almond, hurry. Hurry. Okay, well, we've already told Attila off here, so... Maybe we can go ahead and get a peek at what he's up to. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that explains why Attila has not paid us a visit yet. Uh, it seems that his lands have been overrun by bandits. Okay, this world is getting very scary. Uh, I think I might buy those weapons at the next caravan. Early August. Okay, so we got a few more turns. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fun. It's all very dangerous. Okay, so they're wandering around there. I am going to get out of here. Alright, nobody is moving over there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should send Adelfried. Okay. I'm tired of seeing that. Okay, so yeah, maybe I'll send him off this direction. <laughs> it's a little bit too dangerous for my liking. Too many bandits running around. Fortunately, the uh, hunter can at least defend themselves. There we go. So we're, now we're producing a little bit of food. Saves us some of that honey. All right, we are about out of alcohol here, though, for our bard. But we should get a new clan next turn. So we're we're finally starting to get rolling here a little bit. Just have to. Oh dear. Ooh, okay. Bandits are wandering a little bit closer than I'd like. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we got on here. Clan Adelfried has become upset. Desire has not been granted. So Adelfried has developed interest. Uh, interest level two. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, the gameplay explanation of what it means. Uh, before it just said has developed interest. Uh, but there's, there's four different levels of interest. So you could just kind of be curious in something or you could just be obsessed with it. And... Um, you know, even phrasing it like that, it still wasn't clear that they were different. You just kind of would see that they're, oh, they, they want this. Um, so this is, you know, kind of the, the temporary hack solution. Uh, eventually, I'm going to want to make it uh, a little bit more presentable, but uh, for now, it works. Okay. So, who do we got here? Okay. Adelfried. All right. In a settled profession. Settled, really? You are belligerent and aggressive, and you want to be settled. You want to come back to the to the settlement. Oh dear. Uh, that seems dangerous. Okay. Well, um, well, we don't want you down there. Yeesh. Okay. Bandits are on the march. All right. So our scout can at least defend himself. I might fortify here. <laughs> it's a bad. It's a very, very bad fight. The bandit, even just a, a weak bandit, has three power. Uh, this is why we really, really need to get some archers. All right, so our wood collector here. All right, who's our new clan gluttonous? Jeez, we have look at all these gluttons. Gluttonous, gluttonous. I wonder if we don't have any food. You guys are eating it all. All right. Ugh. Fingers crossed, early September. So next turn we can buy some weapons. Yeah, and then uh, start training. An archer ASAP. Hopefully, uh, I guess there's a chance caravan won't have weapons, in which case... Oh, crap. Okay. All right, caravan has arrived. Identified a large stone deposit. Okay, cool. So there's a good amount of stone around here. It's a pretty interesting location. Got some barley, got some stone. Um, all right, you need to get home, my friend. All right, our scout is fortified here. Scout is not going to be able to do much on his own, but he might at least thwart him from uh, advancing a little bit further into our territory. But we need to get some... We need alcohol. Yeah, our bard's done now. You can see it's all the, all the way up to 10 turns. We need it. Uh, we definitely need the three weapons here. So fortunately, the caravan does have it. So I'm going to sell that off. Buy weapons. Nope, we need a little bit more money. Okay. Uh, we need to keep a decent amount of our timber here. All right, we have a lot of tools, actually, so we can start selling off tools, I think, at this point. We are kind of in a good position, so uh, I might sell five of our tools. Fifteen, okay, so weapons. And, okay, we can start on that. I'm just going to go ahead and start training Freeder as our archer so we don't forget that okay now we also needed some alcohol all right we're producing a good amount of tools our timber supply is going to drop pretty precipitously here in just a little bit unfortunately uh, because our logging camp is almost done so Probably want to start holding on to some of that timber. Um, hmm. Tools may be our best bet, actually. So I may... Yeah, go down to five. It's, it's a little risky, but... Okay. We have two to spend. If we can get two more, we can buy another alcohol, which would be nice. Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and sell a little bit of timber. Okay. Yeah, so we didn't get the winemaker online, so 
Yeah, I've, I have not played this game well at all. <laughs> it's not been a, uh, a great example of how to play at the gates well. Um, Adelfried. Oh, Adelfried. Uh, you know, sorry Adelfried, but I think I need you to chop down a few more trees for me. Good luck. Alright, now we can start building our barley farm. Of course, it's about to be winter, so... Hooray, again, great, great strategy. Uh, our archer should be done next turn, though, so... That is something that will work out for us, at least. Alright, haha, <laughs> we scared him off. He knows better than to mess with us. Okay, so we do have quite a bit of shenanigans going on over here, so I think I'm going to set up shop on this hill, so it'll give us a little bit more vision. Uh, we can see over the trees and stuff. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, probably, yeah, it's not a factor here. So hills let you see over things. They don't increase your range. So it's, you know, it's a big flat expanse, so there's nothing to see over. All right, our surveyor here is probably done. We could send them up this way to start doing things, but it's not something that's going to happen just yet. So we'll have them rejoin the settlement. Okay. And Adelfried. Mm. I'll just send you there. It's going to need you in camp next turn, which is kind of a bummer, but I'll deal with it. Okay, so we finished an archer. Now we have a decision to make here. It would be nice to get some of these other things online. Winemaker. Hmm. We could tra retrain alert as a winemaker, start turning some of this honey into alcohol. Oh, but we just did the beekeeper. The ten cloth. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Gosh. You know, it probably makes the most sense. <laughs> oh, this is a game that uh, is a little punishing, even for uh, even for the designer. <laughs> But uh, that might make sense, because uh, that was the last caravan of the year. We're not going to get any more alcohol. That's pretty much it for uh, until the spring. Ugh. Well, I may at least wait until uh, it gets cold here, and the uh, apiary stops producing honey for the year, so get a, a few more turns out of it. Uh, all right, is there something else that we can do in the meantime? We're seeing some yeah, some berries over here. We could start collecting those. So a uh, change that I actually made recently is that you can forage for uh, food, or you, not food, but uh, berries specifically in the winter. Because um, there are some plants out there that, that produce it in the winter. And um, that would be a nice additional source of food that would prevent us from cutting too far into our honey. So we're eating the deer here. Um, the deer is producing how much? Three. Okay, three food. Uh, but we're eating basically three now as well, so we're kind of under the gun there. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe it makes sense to um, get a gatherer out there to start collecting that. And then uh, they can also get the honey over here as well, so uh, that might be nice. Uh, yeah, Alright, so we're... we're Leaning uh, decently heavy on foragers in this game. We have wood collector, we have our uh, digger under here, um, a hunter, and we're training a gatherer. So that's that's pretty good setup there. Uh, we also have iron mine, logging camp, soon to be a barley field, or a barley, what's that thing called? Barley farm, yeah. And then an apiary. So we, we've got a lot of, we got four structures and four, uh, four foragers. So we're heavy, heavy economics in this game. Uh, hence the, hence the <laughs> danger posed by uh, all those bandits out there. Okay, so our archer, just go ahead and fortify him here. He can stay put there. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't camp this turn. 
Okay, Clan Ryman has joined. Ryman is belligerent, inclined to feud with other clans. Okay, alright. So we're starting... Okay, yeah, it looks like the Apier just went offline now, so... Yeah, next turn we can start doing that. So our Ale Makers are something that we can start taking advantage of here before too long. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to... <laughs> Uh, reduce the value of the winemaker that we're about to train, but like I said, haven't uh, haven't exactly played this one out great, so we'll keep going. Boom! Alright, our logging camp just uh, finished harvesting all the timber around here, so one advantage of that is that we can now move through this area a little bit more easily, uh, but of course now we're no longer producing timber, so Okay, we can now train ale makers. Yes. Uh, I guess one thing I could mention about the logging camp is that uh, the timber supply is actually different from uh, resource deposits like the the beehives, the honey here, the the coal, the iron, that sort of thing. Because uh, once you chop down all the trees, that's it. So all that's left around here is uh, you know this is brush. You know, so just little little trees that aren't good for any you know. Uh, like industrial scale production. Okay, so we have our gather, and we can now take advantage of the recently chopped forest and get them moving up here. Uh, forge safely. And all right, settlement is idle. Okay, so now we can switch alert over to be that winemaker temporarily uh, and then it might make sense to have Conrad <sighs> no not yet that's still it's still producing uh, two per turn or it will um, not right now so it's the winter so I'll probably keep I'll probably keep that going until it degrades a second time and then it's down to producing just uh, just one. Alright, study profession. So we just got our ale makers, which is pretty cool. Now, something that we could take advantage of here would be basket makers. So basket makers, uh, we can upgrade gathers and reapers with five cloth. Of course, cloth seems to be just impossible to get a hold of in this game. Hmm. Weaponsmith might make some sense because we uh, can certainly use some weapons, and having to buy them all the time is kind of a pain. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Okay, so our winemaker will be done next turn. We ran out of alcohol, so that was good timing on our part. Gonna need to get some more cloth here to raise our, our clan limit, though. Once we can get some more some more warriors out there, we can start uh, dealing with these bandits a little bit more actively. It might be nice to start heading over here and taking care of these guys, uh, so that we can uh, take advantage of all these nice resources up here. So we haven't had to migrate yet in this game, and that is uh, something that is kind of a consequence of the addition of the foragers because they let you. Uh, basically acquire food outside your borders. So normally if we didn't have, you know, this hunter here that could hunt the deer and the, the gather here to collect the berries, we would be just about out of food uh, in our area and we would have to move. So that's something that is uh, not necessarily a bad thing, but it does change the feel of the game. So it's something I still have to kind of think about what the, the effect is, what the role uh, that has on the game or in the game. Um, so it could change to kind of encourage a little bit more movement. Everybody's remained pretty fixed so far. But it is, uh, to be fair, it's still turn 40, so uh, don't know exactly how long we want games to last. Uh, at least a couple hundred turns, maybe 300, something like that. Uh, it's one of the things that we're going to uh, figure out as we go. It's not something where we have a specific target in mind. Uh, we, want, we want the game to last as long as it makes sense. We don't want it to drag on... We don't want it to be 400 turns just to have it be 400 turns. That doesn't make sense. 
Okay, so I think we are. Yeah, okay. So. Alright, looks like the, the display here is a little bit off. We don't need alcohol, we have it. We are producing one. Um, so it's off by a little bit, but we are eating into our honey, quite literally, uh, pretty extensively here. Uh, we're also kind of getting into our iron as well, so uh, something I think that would make sense now is to get that stone. So the next order of business here is to train a miner. Uh, we have two blacksmiths. Four turns on everybody, huh? Hmm, okay. Alright, so Hillbrand and Ryman don't have professions yet. Everybody else does. Uh, Hillbrand... Now, let's... Let's make Ryman build that, that stone quarry. Okay, so our, our coal production here is uh, kind of dropping off a cliff a little bit. I think it's degraded twice now. Um, yeah. So we can send him off to do something else. You know, having him be trained as the miner might have made more sense than I think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I think that's what I'm going to do here. All right, well, it's another screw up. Do, do, do. All right, Alwyn. Boop. All right, Alwyn, no. Enter the settlement, and then Alwyn, you can be a miner. One turn. Boom. I like it. Okay, so we still, we're probably gonna, we're gonna need some more iron here. Uh, if we're gonna have a weaponsmith as well, so. That's something that uh, we have to account for. Um, so we may want to get that soon. All right, so. All right, our logger is now finished abandoning. Now there is one more tile. We can build a logging camp here and then collect these four, uh, timber from those four fours. So that works out pretty nicely. After that, we're out of luck. Um, there's no more trees within our borders that we can take advantage of. Okay, so weaponsmiths are done, and now something that I think I might want to take advantage of here might be watchmen to extend our borders a little bit. Hmm, it's hard to say. Well, let's see. What can we do in terms of moving our settlement here? So it might uh, be just about time to start migrating. Okay, so now we're going to get the stone quarry there. We can move up one tile. That doesn't really do much for us at the moment. So, yeah, our barley here. So we kind of got two really good new structures online. So we're almost kind of uh, fixed in place here a little bit, if you will. We could move up this way, and we would lose our iron mine, uh, which is a little bit too important, so... Eh. Probably not worth it. Hmm. Well, something that we could do is if we... Yeah, we have some animals here. There's some animals down here. That might be nice. Um, because we can start... Uh, we can take advantage of animals in different ways and that's not something that we've uh, really done too much of so far in this game because uh, we didn't have any within our borders that made a lot of sense so we've hunted some horses we're hunting some deer but we can we can actually do other things as well so I think what I might do here is go for some trappers and then uh, we can train uh, Hillbrand because Hillbrand wants to do something with animals and then uh, we can send Hillbrand down here and trap these guys although I forget if um that was part of the area that Clovis told us to stay away from, but oh well. Need to uh, add a display to make that clear. But we'll keep moving. Alright, Samo of the Slobs, Slobs has an important matter to discuss. Alright, well, let's do that first. 
These wretched bandits are a threat to us all if you share the locations. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's take a look around. Where's... So uh, Clovis already told us about some over that direction, uh, which we don't really care too much about. And I think Samo is fairly far away. Uh, don't, we don't even know where he is. His, his scout ran into us instead of the other way around. Um, but, you know, it's, it's good to uh, make friends when you can, so I'll agree to that. Okay, so we've received information. Woo! They are a uh, ways out there. So Samo must be out this way. I'm guessing he's somewhere in this in this area. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, there's just bandits everywhere, huh? Okay, well, it's nice to know. Uh, it's always good to uh, start building up a relationship here. Oop, okay, I guess we got to be a little bit more careful here with our uh, gatherer. They're going to take damage if we don't encamp them this turn, so we will do that. All right, logger, slowly but surely, winter. Winter forests are a little bit rough. Okay, so Alwyn is now a miner, yes. And we can, I think, yeah, three moves either way, so it doesn't really matter which direction we go. We'll follow the mountains. I like mountains. May switch clan. Okay, so I give it two levels in livestock. Um, I think just uh, give him to Hillbrand, because that'll save us a turn on the trapper. Because uh, normally it would take two turns. Say level three profession, and he's level two. And it's a minimum of one turn always, so that uh, that level difference would add an extra turn to it. So by giving him the plus two levels, we can drop that down to the minimum of one. Okay, so we're not training anyone. We just finished um, the uh, livestock. And, okay, ale maker. Hmm. Yeah, so now we have a, a tough call to make. I'd like to get weaponsmith up and going. I'd also like that ale maker. What month is it again? Late December. Okay, so we have a little bit of time before our barley field starts producing anything again. So we have um, an opportunity here. Weaponsmith might be good to get going. So we have a good amount of tools, and I was hoping to sell some of those, but you know, you can sell uh, tools, or you can sell weapons for more anyways, although you do need to spend the five tools to train a weaponsmith, whereas blacksmith we already have is free. Four turns for that, one turn there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it probably makes sense to just uh, re to, to switch one of our existing guys over because we're already kind of under the ball here with iron. If we train a another profession that uses up iron, then uh, we're gonna run out really quick. We're dropping a little bit now, but we can we can kind of hold on to that. Uh, we can always supplement it with a little bit of extra. Iron from the caravans. Keep going. Alright, buy-in of the Avars has an important matter to discuss. Yeah. Okay, yep, he wants to uh, deal with the bandits as well. Sure. Right. Yeah, it's a good example of how you need to get the, uh, the flavor text uh, for each of these leaders in. That's one of the things that uh, we'll be working on here soon. Okay, that's good to know. So a lot of that stuff just takes time because there's, you know, ten, 10 leaders in the game and everybody, uh, you want everybody to have their own flavor. And if they have something similar to say between games, it would be nice if there's some variation between that as well. So they don't always have the same line every game when they're like, oh, let's trade bandit locations. Uh, so that's going to be a fair amount of work on that front. Uh, additionally, uh, we also need to add more stuff to do on the diplomatic side. Uh, you know, we've had three other leaders ask us to uh, swap bandit camp locations, which is nice. Uh, but, you know, let's let's do something else here. Um, so eventually, uh, they'll also uh, discuss things and make requests uh, that relate to events that have already occurred. So if somebody says, hey, you know, let's share bandit camp locations, they might come back uh, a year or two later and say, oh my goodness, you know, those bandits that we've talked about, 
uh, they're overrunning me. Can you lend me, you know, some weapons or something? And uh, it ties together more like a story, and uh, that's the sort of thing that just takes time. Um, you know, everything with diplomacy, you just play test. You notice things as you go, and you say, "All right, well, we got to fix that." But for now, we are trying to build a stone quarry, which will still take another turn because it's the winter logging camp. All right, so we are almost to the berries. It's a long journey. It's just the wrong time to have everybody moving around. Okay, so now we got some weapons going. That's good. That is quite good. All right, Rock just showed up. Rock uh, wants to fight or wants something in honor. If we'd gone for a watchman, that would have made a lot of sense there. Okay, so ale maker. Shh. Shoot, that's right. Okay, we need one more tool. Forgot uh, that we're going to be short one. Uh, that's okay. We can start it next turn. It's still what? Ugh. Early January. Okay, so it'll it'll be about that time. Okay. And then we could always switch our. Yeah, that might actually make more sense. Which we'll switch alert over to be. The, uh, the ale maker. Huh, that's kind of nice. So, beekeeper, wine maker, ale maker. So, that's, that's a good example of how you can uh, really take advantage of uh, specific clans for certain things. Um, you know, some clans just want to be retraining the same one because they have that level bonus that saves you a lot of time. Uh, other ones, you know, that are lower level or in completely different uh, discipline, you kind of have to bite the bullet and spend those extra turns. Okay. Oh yeah, I should. Uh... Wait, is it time? No, not, I can't train the trapper yet. All right. So... All right. In the meantime, we can probably do something else quickly here. Hmm. So what? What do we want to do here? We, yeah, another archer would be nice, but we do not have the weapons for that. Let's take a look at what we got going on around here. And we're in pretty good shape overall. Uh, shoot, okay. So, yeah, this is a little tough one here. Another, a digger might be good. Digger will use up more of our tools, though, which is not good. So we want to get some more iron there. That would be nice. Um, hmm. Shoot. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, just about everything is going to use tools. That's the that's the tough thing. So uh, I think I may just go ahead and bite the bullet here and get another gather going yeah okay so it'll cost us another tool but you know that's okay we can we can use them to start uh, collecting the berries down here or uh, honey up this direction uh, you know just keep the food situation under control Okay, so we can now train trappers. Sweet. Um, but we can't do so yet. Okay, so trappers, three tools. Okay, all right, stone quarry at last. Start building that. Okay. Need our gather here to encamp. Study profession. Okay, so something that we could use, because uh, getting, getting some of these uh, more advanced professions, like the, the tracker would be nice, but 15 turns, I think by the time we actually have, we would have that, uh, we would be out of uh, animals to turn into parchment. So, I think something that might make sense is to uh, improve our research rate a little bit. So we can get a lore keeper here. And that will speed up our 
studying significantly. So I think we will do that. And that will allow us to get some of these other things more quickly, which is a good thing. All right, I think that's it for this turn. And uh, probably it for this part. This has been uh, part five. And uh, the next part, part six, will be the last one for this uh, Let's Play video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. Thank you.